Good morning, it's 20 past 9 on Monday the 11th of November. It is Armistice Day here in the UK and it is Veterans Day over in the US. And it's time for today on my food channel. So how are you? Are you having a good day? Um, if you missed the live last night, you'll be noticing that uh, yeah, I look a bit different. Um, I made the decision yesterday and it was a hard decision, it really, really was really hard um, to take out my dreads. Um, I've had dreads for 12 years with about a three week gap just after Daryl was born. And um, I've loved having dreads, I've always loved having dreads. The issue I had, my first set I really loved and I always said if, if I ever, for whatever reason, had to take them out, um, that I would make sure my second set would be a little bit more evenly done because I did the first set myself um, and I would go and, and get somebody to do them and that they would be evenly spaced and a bit more uniform because I had some chunky, and some thin ones and all that lot. And after I had Daryl, about six or seven months after I had him, I suffered from quite a lot of postpartum hair loss. And I had these big thick dreads like this with roots that ended up being like that and it was causing a lot of strain so I, I cut my hair and I took them all out it was, it was a little bit shorter than this actually and um, a month later I had them reinstalled with some extensions the girl who did them did a really bad job and to be honest I was never happy with the set that I had um, I had mega chunks I mean she you know I had one here that root was a good two inches across and I should have, when they were newly done, done something about it. But, you know, I had a baby and and I never, I just never did, you know. The longer I was going with them and the more mature they were getting, they, as, dreads get, as dreads mature, they harden. Okay, they get thicker and heavier and harder. That was part of why I cut them so short, because they were, as you know, causing a lot of trouble. I was getting headaches and all that lot. The headaches eased a little bit but not completely and then my scalp really started to hurt and i kept on with it for a wee while and then i washed my hair yesterday and i just spent the whole day in i felt my my scalp was on fire it felt like somebody was slowly pulling my hair out which i suppose really it was and i sat and i thought about it and in the end i called my daughter and i said look i need to take them out and uh, her reaction was <laughs> to begin with and um yeah then she came up and we did it on the live last night so uh yeah this is this is this is what i've been left with my head i mean look you can see how red my head is it is my scalp is bright fucking red guys and even just doing that moving my hair hurts um i don't like it <laughs> I don't and it's because it's new I, I expect I'm hoping that as time goes on that I'll adjust to it but at the moment I don't like it and I'm already making plans on when I've got a bit more growth I might go there's a lady in Wales that does professional dread installation and um, I'm thinking that I might get some extensions done and get them done but have thinner ones like a lot thinner than what I had um, you know maybe sort of about yay thick some of mine were like this I'm thinking you know maybe sort of what they call pencil pencil thin dreads um, with the odd chunk here and there I had one at the base of my neck that I loved my chunky one um, but yeah it's 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 really look there's no hair there's no hair I look like my mother um, but you know I've got <laughs> A lot less dandruffy sort of the, the problem is with dreads is they hold on to everything and that was the other issue i had because they were so thick there was a lot of lint and dust and crap inside the dreads so every movement i it just felt like it was fucking snowing so um yeah i'm sort of anyway moving on moving on because you know if i sit here and talk about it i'm gonna cry um <laughs> pen i've lost my pen there it is it's green <laughs> okay so yesterday I did not wear makeup did I do the challenger do you know what I don't even know see this is the statement I drew that yesterday 
Um, I did. This is a little bit younger than I did regarding Alex's wrestling career. Um, yeah, so I did. I did that yesterday during the day. Um, and then I took a photo of me and Callie and did a little, little uh, washy collage, I suppose you would call it. And then I journaled about today. So yes, I did. I've had to cover a little bit of it up. That's fine. Okay, so I did the challenges. Um, I did have booze. I did have more than a can. I didn't have any chips though. Yes, it took a lot of Dutch courage for me to cut all this off yesterday. No, I did not craft. I'm going to put that, because I've put a photo in as my about today. I'm not going to write anything. I'm just going to leave it at that. And my night care I did. Right, I didn't do this yesterday. Um, <laughs> I don't know where to put my mood. For the most, oh, I'm going to put it there. I just don't know where to put the mood for yesterday. I'm going to put that the pain was about there because it did hurt removing some of this, especially the, all the little, little hairs, you know, the little fine hairs that bit like plucking your eyebrows really it hurts like a bitch when you pull them okay so I need yesterday's steps six seven one eight we did loads of laundry yesterday dishwasher went on yesterday I'm sorry about the noise in the background my tumble dryer's on it's annoying but you know I was and I posted the October steps yesterday. I mean, I know, like, um, I watched uh, a while ago Cindy's um, tips for YouTube video, and she was like, you know, don't do this, don't do that. I was like, well, yeah, you know, while that's all very well, sometimes I just have to have the top drawer. <laughs> so, you know, right. Yeah, no, n no background noise or something. Well, that's might work in her house, but it certainly doesn't work in mine today day face cream and makeup because I needed to feel good about myself so I put a bit of makeup on okay the page of wands I don't think I've ever pulled this one before so he's obviously on a trip or a journey or something because he's got a little thing on his broom Ah, that's poppies in the background. How appropriate. Um, the cat knows which way to go, or does the cat want to go back? The page is usually somebody quite um, uh, impulsive. It's usually a young, you know, normally a younger person, but it's someone who's quite impulsive who might make slight rash decisions. Um, now this person obviously wants to go somewhere. I think the cat. Sorry about the wobble. My screen must be touching my light because it wasn't me that touched it. That's a bit better. Um, but the cat is trying to make him go back by the look of things. So while you may be dedicated to the, the, the cause or the journey or whatever, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, while you might be dedicated to this idea, are you doing the right thing? Listen to the people who might be against it. Listen to their reasons why before you go rushing off. I've put you're pretty dedicated to this path but get advice before rushing onwards it's always always good to get advice from people who may be a little bit more experienced than you so i don't need to do that i do need to do my sleep and i know i still need to do my measurements but i'm like really not in the mood so i had a broken night by the look of things i was a bit awake for a while so i went to bed about midnight and i fell asleep quite quickly Apparently I woke up at three. And yeah, I felt like I had a really good sleep. So I was obviously quite restless during the night that made my Fitbit think I was awake. But I will put that I feel good, because I do. Well, I feel like I slept well. I feel good, because I lost my hair. 
Right, um, I haven't yet done the loo. I need to go upstairs and do that, actually. New down pain tracker today. Do that a bit later. Okay, so I would have had that transfer out this morning. Nothing else is done yet. I still need to finish the work week hustle and the scores. Catch up on some TV. Okay, so we're getting towards the end of this signature, guys. This is this is going well. I wish I'd used more Tomway River paper in here. It was a bitch to die. It really was because anybody who's ever written on or painted Tomway River paper knows that your shit, that your um, your paint or your your whatever it is, your your ink sits on top of the paper for ages and the issue I had with the Tomo River paper was that um, I literally had to put each sheet in the, the dye bath and allow that to soak right in before I could add the next sheet otherwise the sheets just adhered to each other and um, they only went brown around the edges this one came out really really well because it did take me a couple of goes and I ended up drying this on a, a cake rack, a cooling rack and um, that that is what gave it, gave it the lines which is great but um, yeah, it, they I only dyed a few sheets and it was a pain in the ass it came out great, I love how it looks and feels but it was a pain but I do wish I'd done more sheets in here uh, just because I like the way it looks got a little black cloud and a little sun. It's actually a really nice day and I'm gonna put my coat on and go out in a minute. So it's cold though. It's a high of nine and a low of four. Right, sunrise was at 12 minutes past seven. Sunset will be at 24 minutes past four. Veterans Day is the word for today, fair enough. And rectangles is the doodle. Okay. Now I am going to, I'm not going to write Veterans Day, I'm going to write Armistice Day. I'm going to double check the spelling because Veterans Day is a US holiday and um, Armistice. Yeah, I want to write something sort of a little bit more relevant to me because I'm here in the UK. draw more lines that's my veterans day rather than writing veterans day because we call it armistice day it's the same thing we honor our veterans our you know those that have fought for our our rights and our freedom i suppose um well, i don't suppose you know you know what i mean it's the day we honor them um the ceremonies were all done yesterday because we do it on the sunday before and it's called Remembrance Sunday or Remembrance Day. Again, it's the day we remember them. Um, and um, the poppy, everybody here in the UK, we wear a poppy um, because it was in the poppy, the poppy fields and that at the end of the war. And um, we will remember. So um, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go out and get some sunshine and some fresh air and go for a walk and do three million and one things that, you know, and avoid the, the four million things I should be doing at home. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I spent today remembering them because a lot of them died for us. Okay, and I'll see you tonight in the evening edition. Take these guys. Bye. It's all frozen. Are we up to day now? <laughs> Everything froze when I hit record. <laughs> Good evening, welcome back to the evening edition. This is going to be a quick one because I'm tired and I want to get this uploaded so I can go to bed basically. I've done lots today. Okay, we are not in October Sam, get on with it. We are in Nov. So, um, I've done I've done the writing challenge. I haven't drawn the rectangles 
Yeah, I'll do that in a sec. Uh, not had booze or fizzy. I've had chips. I haven't crafted. Right, that's about it, really. Literally. Really tired. Um, I mean, it's been a bit better today because I managed to get out in the um, out in the fresh air, which was nice. I think my pain's probably about there. Done a lot of steps today. Oh dear, I've even filled the bar up, and I will write in tomorrow how many steps I've done because I've already done twenty six thousand steps. Okay, so we are on Monday. I did go up and clean the loo after I spoke to you guys. I've also tidied up in here a little bit. Uh, I've done the dishwasher, the worktops, and I swept the floor. And I vacuumed, oh, vacuumed downstairs. I did that today as well because where we cut like my hair and then trimmed Callie's hair in here there was hair all over the fucking shop so I had to get in here and clean up so yeah right I have uploaded my mood and pain tracker should have kept a kept an eye on the um Follow account, really, shouldn't I? Never mind. Um, I didn't find the DWP. My mum went to the GP. Mary is on now. That's awesome. Still have done scores. They can bloody well wait. Right, that's about it, I think. Um, oh, yeah. For those who haven't seen online, Daryl's got an adult tooth pushing his... Um, milk teeth out which is like oh my god <sighs> when does that happen you know it's, it's my little boy and he's not supposed to be doing things like that yet I'm not ready <laughs> <clears throat> so I am gonna I'm gonna do a line about there there we go that's it that's literally that's all I'm going to do. I might colour it in tomorrow, but I'm certainly not doing so now because I'm tired. I'm not in the mood. So, yeah, all I did was um, I just put on there first adult tooth is pushing through, did a little tooth icon, and uh, you can't see it very well, obviously, because of the lights, but it's just behind here. Uh, that. Yeah, his first front right one. Yeah, his his right. So as you look at it, it's it's that one. <laughs> you know. So it's the bottom tooth, so yeah, he told me it was wobbly a few days ago and I was like, can't be yet, surely. And then when I looked I was like, Oh wow. <laughs> yes it is. So there we go. That's it. I am free of the bathing facilities. <laughs> okay. I now have to go and get some dinner on for somebody. Thank you so much for joining me. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me comments and criticisms and kisses and all those lovely things down below um i've got a live coming up on wednesday i've got to make my a6 planner book um and i need some suggestions of other things we can try so if you've got any suggestions let's have at them right Take it easy guys and I will see you in Tuesday's edition of Today in My Boo Journal. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See you tomorrow.